Hi, I'm Eric. Uh, I'm Nicholas. Uh, last semester, we worked on a chessboard project to make it interactive. This year, we improved on it. So the biggest difference is that these pieces are now magnetic, and we're using magnetic reed switches beneath to detect the pieces. So first, we start off our chess game with the calibration phase. We will not start the game until all the pieces are on the proper squares. As you see here, there's a bunch of pawns missing, and same with the white side, as you can see from the board. And we will now calibrate it really quickly. Once all the pieces are detected, as you see here, the game will now start. Okay, there's the last piece. Okay, and now the timers are running and the, and the display is being updated. Okay, so what exactly. are you going to show me now? We're going to show you some logic. Uh, last game, last semester, we had blitz chess where there was no rules. This year, we have rules, such as um, if your move is illegal, we won't allow it. So we're going to start off by demonstrating a simple pin. Okay, so you're, you're, you're doing a quick game here. Quick game. Quick yeah. game. This is the King's Gambit opening. <laughs> So as you see here, this bishop now pins the knight to the king. In chess, this knight cannot move, as we will show here. So okay, one but, but let me look now. Now, now move the now move the, the the knight. Okay. When we select the knight, no legal moves are available. There's a little dot where it was. Yeah. But but there's no legal moves marked because. Okay. It's illegal. Yep. Yep. It's pinned. Okay. So it's pinned. Okay. Yep. So now we're gonna get the knight out of a pin. Uh, knight. Are oh, you just show off the knight? Oh, no, 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 okay. No. White House, a castle. A oh, castle. Just castle. We have a castle now. Okay, and if you go back to the screen. Now that the knight is unpinned, mm -hmm. if I select the knight, all the moves are available. Yeah, I see five moves. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We, just, we just executed a move on the board. Uh -huh. And that pin is one of the most important logic of our chess. Mm -hmm. uh, let's switch to the next game. All right. Okay. Just resetting the board really quickly. Okay, so now you're back in calibration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So the final most important logic of our chess game is the ability to detect check and if we can stop the check. If we can't stop the check, it's checkmate. So we're going to show off a quick checkmate here. It's called the scholar's mate. No, it's fine. That's fine. Okay. So before the queen captures, when it captures it, we see that any moves that all the other pieces can make will still leave the king in check. So if no other pieces can make a move to stop the check, then it's also game over. And if mm -hmm. the king tries to capture the queen, we run the logic again, and we see that the king would still be under attack by the bishop. So that's how the queen, which is about to go here, will be ca uh, will be able to checkmate the king. Mm -hmm. So here we go, the final blow. As you know. And white wins, as you can see from the screen here. Okay. And there it is, white wins. Very cool. So you've got, you have position detection, you've built the logic to to understand valid moves, mm -hmm. you've got it displayed on the screen, and um, one one last thing, yeah, underneath the mat there's quite a lot of wiring. There right? is quite a lot of wiring. Yeah. Yeah, Can you sure. peel back a corner just to show me the, show the, the wiring? Let's just uh, disassemble. So. Oh, yeah. it's it cool. Clean. It looks clean because it, all we're looking at now are the, the reed switches. But then underneath it is okay, this guy's wires. Yeah. underneath that is the array of wires and diodes that do the uh, steering of, of the signals. Exactly. Very cool.